So Revit 2024 is out today and I'm here to announce that Tab Views Plus has been updated for Revit 2024. And that's the update and that's the video. Just kidding. So in addition to being updated to Revit 2024, which there are a lot of new features, there's going to be several videos out there that show new features. So I'll let you visit any of those videos. We'll link some below uh, as we find them. But if you want to know about all the features, check those out. But Revit 2024 Tab Views Plus is now called Neat UI. So we've went through a bit of a rebranding this year because we've added a ton of new features to it. So in addition to upgrading it to Revit 2024, we've added features that work all the way back to Revit 2020. So that's really an interesting thing that we've added this year. Uh, in addition, we'll look at a few of the other things in Revit 24 as well. So we're going to go ahead and do is turn on tab coloring. This is not out of the box Revit. I know still after all these years, we still don't have tab coloring in Revit by default, and we don't have it in Revit 2024 yet, except for tab views or neat UI. Uh, so what we can actually do is some of these new features are really key here. So if we click on our little icon, we can change the colors just as we can before. And for those who might not know, uh, tab views plus now neat UI colors tabs based on the project you're in. So I have the advanced sample model that's purple. This pinkish color is the new structural model that's a sample. And this green tab is the architectural model that's a new sample within Revit 2024. So it color codes them. That way you know what projects which as you start to open views. So one of those things is kind of annoying is you don't know what project is which, but now you can as you start to open several views. Uh, in tab views, we've always been able to modify the opacity of the inactive tabs. So we can modify that as we see fit. You can change the current tab color. So if you wanted like a blue instead for that project, you can do that and so on. We've now added a little bit of a few hidden features here. So one of the biggest user requests was the ability to know which projects your active one if you were to have like, let's say, all your tab opacity the same. It's kind of hard to know which tab you have selected. It's not real apparent. Uh, so that's been a feature request for quite a while. Luckily, we've added a new feature to change your active tab height. So you can change your active tab to 32 pixels per se. And now as you work through, you know which tab you're on pretty quickly, which is exciting. So I'll go ahead and decrease this opacity. Let's make that slightly bigger to make it a little more clear. And you are also able to change the text height. So if I change this to 14, you'll see that that gets a little bit taller and so on. So you can add some really cool values in here to help you know which project you're working in, which is really nice. I have three projects open right now. Let's say you're in one project and you wanna know what kind of views you have open. You are able to do that with this color by view type. So orange is going to be 3D views, this pinkish color is going to be sheets and this purple color is plan views. So that's another option in here. Another new feature that we've added to neat UI now is the ability to change these colors. So you can change these in session. So if I don't like orange for my 3D views, I can make those like a purple maybe or something like that. The default colors work pretty well. Uh, they are assigned up front for you, but you can change these in your current session if you really wanted. So that's another option for you. Uh, I tend to leave it on color by project as I might be in several projects and so on. Another feature that is in tab views has been for a while uh, that has been updated to work in 24 is the tab sorting. So by default, you'll notice as I open views, they stack at the end of the line in Revit. So you can start to see that happen. What we are able to do now is click on tab sorting and we are going to kind of group these together so as we work in Revit and open views, they're going to stack alongside the project they belong to, which is really cool. So this is a little more how it should work, I think. You know, that way you start to see these interact the way they're supposed to, um, and you start to have those grouped together. You will notice I have too many tabs open, so they started to disappear because they're all in this little menu that flies out on the side over here. Uh, that's something Revit just does, so something to keep in mind. Uh, but what we are able to do now as well is actually squish the tabs down. So if I click on Enable Tab Squishing, I am able to get all 
nine of these views, 10 of these views uh, within my view now. So we are able to squish those down and start to make them fit. So that's another feature that was requested for a long time that's now in tab views or neat UI. I'm gonna be calling it the wrong thing forever, I think. Uh, and we'll go ahead and keep opening views just to see how this works and interacts. So you'll see as we start to get smaller, our little icon disappears too to give us more room. Uh, so that's one of those things as you're working, this kind of cooperates in a way like, like a Chrome or something like that. So if I turn, turn off sorting, they will sort based on open order once again. And we have all of these now. Uh, so all those are starting to group in that way. So we do have those uh, being squished at this point. So another new feature. Let's go ahead and close a few of these views. I'm just clicking my middle mouse button. And we'll let it refresh. That way we get our views back. Cool. So now we have a reasonable amount of views open. So let's go ahead and take a look at another enhancement, if you will. This isn't necessarily a new feature because people have been asking about it since tab views came out back with Revit 2020. But if we go ahead and drag a view off, it will actually color based on the project that it is or whatever. So we do see that this is a blue view. So it is this project over here. So now those floating windows start to get color coded as well. So that was one of these big questions that we've had for a while on it. And sometimes it takes a click to refresh some of this. That's just kind of how the UI interacts in Revit. Generally speaking, it should update on the fly though. Another huge feature in Revit 2024 that everyone's going to be talking about is if you go to File, Options, Colors, you can change the color mode of your Revit. So we now have access to a dark mode Finally, a real dark mode in Revit 24. Like I said, everyone's going to be talking about this, so I'll let them talk about it. But you saw how I had to get there. So in order to get to dark mode, I have to go to File, Options, Colors, Active Theme. You can set it to your system setting, which is really cool. Uh, but I tend to like to adjust it independent, and you change it here. So I see light, and it changes back. That's like five clicks, not the funnest thing. So what we've went ahead and done in neat UI is you are able to change this very quickly just by clicking inside of the ribbon. So now I'm in dark mode. So that's really a quick way to modify that, which is pretty cool. So you can toggle between this if you need to get a quick screenshot or something like that uh, very quickly within neat UI, which is pretty neat. Uh, if you go to the view tab, this canvas theme. So let's say you want a dark mode, but not your canvas as well. You don't want to act like you're in AutoCAD because who would want to do that? Uh, you can actually modify your canvas theme under the view tab. That way you're still in this light mode within your canvas, but the rest is going to be in dark mode as well. And you can go ahead and change that and all those kind of things. I do think the canvas will go dark once again between those transitions. So you will have to click the canvas theme once again. Uh, that's a Revit thing, not necessarily a neat UI thing. So there we have it. Tab Views Plus is now neat UI. It is available from Revit 2020 to Revit 24. Existing subscribers of the plugin get the update for free, of course, and all those good things. And it is backwards compatible through the versions, all that good stuff, your same license key works, all that awesome stuff. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description of this video. And there are a few other links to some of the other videos on Revit 2024. So I encourage you to check those out. And other than that, thank you all for checking this tool out. Anyone who subscribes to the tool and uses it, thank you so much. Uh, Tab Views has been around for a little while for us. It's one of the first plugins that I worked on at Parallax Team. So it's kind of near and dear to me. And we've seen it update. It's on version three now. So it's updated over time like crazy, which is awesome. Uh, there are a few other links that will show up at the end of this video, so be sure to check out those videos. And other than that, we'll see you in the next one.